Hey guys, I got a lot of stuff I can say. And a lot of ways I can say it. Right? But I don't know what I wanna say. Um, because I have so much stuff I can talk about. Like I did have this one video when I wanna talk about insecurities and then I have another one I'm thinking about talking about college. So I don't know where I'm gonna go. But I should know within the next few seconds. Um but yeah, let's talk about college. Well, as most of you know, I'm a senior in high school. Seventeen and one more year, well, less than a year, I'm gonna be eighteen and going off into the world, be a big bird, go fly out the nest and live my life. But I'm scared. Like, okay. Like for one, the main thing right now is deciding the college. Now, I could go somewhere in state, I can go somewhere out of state, but I don't know, out of state is not looking too good right now because the fees. But I really didn't want to stay in Houston or Texas for that matter. Like, who wants to stay? I mean, I know I love Texas, but at the same time, I just don't want to stay here for college. I want to go away. But the way my bank account set up, the way my mama bank account set up, the way my whole family bank account set up, and it just don't look like I'm gonna be making it. I mean, I could go there and get a bunch of student loans and financial aid, and financial aid would probably cover half of everything that I would pay for. But if all if my four years gonna cost ten thousand dollars. I mean, not ten thousand dollars. My four years all together gonna cost a hundred thousand dollars, and financial aid like pays somewhere near half of that. I'm gonna have to pay fifty thousand dollars back in student loans, and then on top of that, I don't even know what my starting like what my starting pay would be. Like, it'd probably be somewhere around thirty thousand dollars, and I didn't want my starting pay to be more, um, to be less than my student loans that I would have afterwards. So I'm like, unless I get a whole bunch of scholarships that I'm, that I'm about to apply for, but outside of that, I mean, that's just a worry. I'm just really, like, I went college searching today online and it just really depressed me. Like, I was just, I, I, don't, I was like, okay, 50,000 here a year, 20,000 here a year, this place, that place. Then, you know, I have to make sure that they're LGBT friendly because I'm not about to go to no college that don't like gay people or don't have events for them because I'm gay. I mean, why, why would I go somewhere that just doesn't care for gay people or doesn't have events for them? It's like me being black and going to a college that just doesn't have black events. And I am black. Uh, but I really don't take that into consideration. I don't, I, well, that's a video for another day. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's just, it's very frustrating and scary and annoying and like terrifying, you know, trying to decide what college I want to go to. And I don't, and it's like, you only have so much time, you know, my senior year is going to be so jam packed of stuff like me, especially the first part of it, because me, I have to send off like all the scholarships, all the colleges I want to go to, I have to send off all the scholarships within the first, like within August, September time period. So it's like, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I'm I'm nervous. I don't know where I want to go yet. I just know that I don't want to have to pay so much. And I'm just trying to get that together. It's, just, it's a lot. And not that I can't ask my mom for help, but she's not a good help when it comes to stuff like this. Like, she's not a guide you do it type person. She's more of a just tell you to go do it and you find out yourself. And I'm also that type of way, and I hate that. I'm just not a good, I'm not patient enough to sit with somebody and show them the ropes with stuff like this. Now, if it's like something with music or something that I'm interested in, thoroughly interested in, then yeah, but just tell you what college to go for. I'm gonna be like, I don't know, you go do your research. <laughs> but I, and I hate that, and I, I just hate that I don't have nobody with me to help me look for a college. But I have been doing some research and I know what colleges that are on my mind. Like I know what places I want to go to and stuff like that. It just is a it's a bit stressing and a bit discouraging when the colleges you do want to go to you really can't because 
either they don't offer what you want to take, they cost too much because of their fees, either out of state or whatever, or in my case, your grades or SAT scores isn't excellent. Now, not to say I'm dumb or anything, I made pretty, I made um, pretty good SAT scores. I'm average. Um, my GPA is a 3.6, uh, but I, colleges, they, you know, they like, they really want you to be a 3.8 or be, you know, like even higher. And I'm like, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm smart, but I'm an average student. I'm not like one of those people that only read books. I do other stuff. I, I'm more of a creative outlet type person and. Not some, and not really just an intellectual person, more personal and more creative and that type of mindset. I'm not like a, a skill-based intellectual type person. So that's why I don't really do awesome in school, but I do good. You know, I'm in Opera AP, I'm usually in Opera AP classes, but last year, well, my junior year, I didn't take uh, pre-AP math or pre-AP science. I was just like, no, because that's too much. And I want to take a break. Um, and the same for uh, next year. I'll be taking a, a few pre AP classes, you know, just to keep it uh, steady because I do have plans for next year, like starting the club, doing track, um, other stuff too. Trying to be more, and also being involved in the clubs I am in, and maybe even joining theater again. So we'll see how all this goes and how my senior year plans out. Plus, I'm trying to write a book. So I have a lot on my plate, but I just hope my really my hope is that colleges want me. I don't have to pay a lot in college. I don't. Hopefully, I don't have like a lot of fees at the end of everything, and like life is good. Roses start to grow, and I'm making money. I'm able to do what I actually want to do and go to school for what I want to be, and just happy to be living and enjoy life. Well, that's the only thing I'm going to talk about right now. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I really do need to come up with something like an ending or an intro or both. I got to help me with that. Like, I just need something. But I don't know what it is. I guess the awkward buys could be my exit, but I guess. Bye.